and Jesse. Mine is more a quiet statement. I used to live in Society Hill when I was young and 20. I was a newcomer. Now I belong to an old comers community. A community which is not rich, which is not poor, which is not black, which is not white, which is not multi-ethnic. It is a community which is absolutely all of those. And it is part of a greater community which we call Philadelphia. I embrace all of our neighborhood groups. I embrace all of our neighborhoods. In East Falls, we had already formed an alliance with local communities surrounding what was to be called the proposed Trump Street site. The problem is that a lot of people didn't know where Trump Street was to be located. People thought it would be taking down old industrial buildings and bringing in a great entertainment venue. And they even promised chicken and pizza, oh, real high end, and, and a multiplex theater. And they would not turn their back on the community. They would welcome the community. They welcomed the community so much that they agreed to put one million dollars on the table to build a new vocational tech high school. Can you imagine one million dollars? Now, we had come together, East Falls, our multiple community organizations, civic business and economic development, with surrounding neighborhoods. The Trump Street site is surrounded by five Philadelphia neighborhoods. In those neighborhoods, 26 organizations came together and formed what we call the Multi-Community Alliance. We had gotten together 15 months ago, as a matter of fact, to help affect real good development at the former Bud Manufacturing site. The Bud Manufacturing site is headquartered on Hunting Park Avenue. The Trump parcel is one mile away from that headquarters at the corner of Henry and Roberts Avenue. You know Henry Avenue. It goes from North Philly to the Burbs. And that's what it's going to be used for. That's where Trump figured he was going to bring all these people in to come to his casino. Well, honey, we decided it ain't going to happen. And how did we know that? We asked our neighbors. We asked our community people. And we said to them, no means no. What did we say? No means no. We continue to say, no means no. And why? Because we got to the table. Our councilman taught us, our councilman taught us how to get together and create a process. We're one of the best communities in the city for creating a process. When you come to East Falls, whether it's for zoning or anything else, we have a process to go through so that everyone can weigh into it. We brought this process to the Moldy Community Alliance. 26 organizations from Strawberry Mansion, Nice Town, Southwest Germantown, Tioga, East Falls, and, and a local um, housing development, which, by the way, is 30 feet across a cartway from the entrance to the proposed Trump Street. There we have 1,500 low-income residents with access and welcoming hands from Trump, from an organization which, by virtue of its inadequacy, has already, pardon my expression, screwed the state of Indiana and intends to screw the state of Pennsylvania. And he's not alone. So if you want to look up something, I'm not going to give you the particulars. You're too tired. It's too hot. Look up French Lick Trump and see what he has done to the community of French Lick, Indiana. Uh, and that's the state he already owes, or he did last year when he declared bankruptcy. He owed $18 million in state revenues. So, Eddie, I don't know how secure you are. After all, your firm represents Trump. After all, one of the appointees on your gaming commission was appointed by a former elected official who just happens to be related to the marketing firm which represents Trump. So I think everybody's a little related here. The governor's house, by the way, is less than a mile from the proposed site, but Eddie likes to get down East River Drive and he thinks that that's not going to, that's not going to be filled with traffic. He's got another thing coming. According to the mayor's task force, according to the Trump analysis, which is flawed beyond belief, but this is good, 
233% increase of vehicles on neighborhood streets. And that is no matter where this casino is located, that is six million vehicles on the little gridded streets of Philadelphia. Do we need that? No. Do we want that? No. And so we say no means no. Thank you.